Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calmlands. That's inconvenient. I didn't specify how much we would loan to a friend. I'm going to say two grand. I'm going to say that we're going to loan our friend 2,000. He's absolutely desperate, our friend. He is absolutely up against the, the wire on this. He's got, like, he, he really is desperate. He'll be able to pay us back at the end of the quarter. So for one quarter, we have to have a minimum of 2,000 euros in our bank account. Um, otherwise, we can't employ any hired help or anything like that. So that means that we're not going to be able to buy the pigs today unless... We can sell some pigs. Now, this is a very good friend of ours. Before anybody starts getting all irate about this idea, it's a very good friend of ours, and he's up against it, okay? We are not going to be able to buy pigs, right? Our business is going to suffer a little bit, but if we don't help our friend out, he's homeless, right? He will be homeless. He will lose everything, right? He is completely up against it. He's desperate. And I'm not interested in someone turning around and saying, well, if he was a true friend, he wouldn't have asked you in the first place. No, I would be really upset, angry even, if he had made himself homeless when I can help him out. Right? I can help him. Yes, it does mean that I'm going to have to put myself out a lot in order to help him, but I'm still doing it. I will do it, damn it. And I'm not, I don't care about the discussions otherwise. I'm helping my friend out. So we have got 2,000 that we've lent him. It's not a huge amount. We can't spare any more than that. If we do, then we're going to be in trouble as well, and our friend would never accept that. So 2,000 should be just enough to keep him above water for a few months, and, and, and then um, hopefully things will settle down for him. Um, so we're going to go in here. Ah. Right, selling the pigs is not going to benefit us because they cost us 200 to buy. So if we sell them now at 191, we're still going to end up having a loss. So what we're going to do is we're just not going to buy pigs this month. So we've got 685 euros. Well, actually, we could. Although eggs, I think, right now are at the rock bottom for price. <laughs> You're not going to get much different. You're not going to get much worse for eggs. Okay, so March really is the absolute rock bottom for egg prices. Uh, April, they start to pick up a little bit, and then it's May where they really start to peak up. Uh, if we go into here, corn, we can start planting corn until April, and we can also plant corn in May. Now, at the moment, we have got two fields, two fields planted. We've got barley in that field up there, and then this one here has got canola in it. So we've got two fields with grain growing in them um we've got one field over here that is waiting to be planted i'm thinking that we're going to be putting corn in there but we may not yet we'll we'll have to see the animals in here we've got 1700 for food for the chickens so we're gonna end up needing to find some money to buy chicken feed pretty soon or we're going to end up having to do what uh, other people have said that well, maybe we should do anyway, which is sell chickens off. I'm hoping that I can avoid that as well. Um, we're going to have to keep a close eye on the chicken situation. But there isn't really anything else we can do for March. There's not a lot else we can do at all because of... Yeah, situations. Like our friend being in the situation he's in, unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do about that. There's nothing that he could do about that. It was, it's just one of those things that has happened and we need to sort of deal with it and move on. Now, I could get rid of that one. I only use that one to rake up a bit of straw. It does help a bit. We could sell it. I don't think it's actually going to get us very much, is it? That one, I've already looked at this before. That one's pretty well worthless. Yeah, we get 900 if we sell that one. And the roller is also pretty worthless. It's 658. 2.5% um, is the increase on the fields for using the roller, I've been told. And that's really not a lot. Hmm. Do 
why don't I do something with that? I was worrying about taking the roller up and selling it, and then we could also take the rake up and sell it, because, like, we really don't use it. Uh, I suppose we do a bit. This one, we don't need to use it. The, the land that we've got. So, it's not a lot of money, but, I mean, I suppose it is a little... It's, it's a chance for us to have a little bit of a drive around, so we'll do that. We'll, we'll run this one up. I'm just going to increase the speed at which time is passing us by to 60. That field over there is covered in weeds right now. Well, all of our farm is covered in weeds, but I'm not concerned about that. We will eventually get a weeder so that we can just bring them under control a little bit. But overall, I'm not all that concerned about the, the presence of the weeds. They can do whatever it is that they need to do and we will ignore them for the most part just wondering no no I, I, I don't want to be selling the eggs this month or next month like this is the, the these are gonna be the two worst months and so what we'll do is if we leave it another month on top of that then the eggs can be sold oops <laughs> we'll pretend that didn't happen we'll just pretend that it didn't happen um, I'm going to ignore, I'm, I'm not going to sell the eggs now or next month, and I'm also not going to plant corn next month. I'm going to leave it another month so that we've got money. We can buy the corn planter, and then I'm really hoping that we'll be able to afford the header for the combine a little bit later on. That's 19000 to get that one, which is not going to be cheap. Why, why won't why won't you lower down? It wasn't lowering down. It says I don't have access to the land. Unhitch. Okay, that was six hundred. It's now seven hundred. So if I do that, I spend four seven two four. It's now seventy nine. So we make a bit of money. Two hundred and four here. So that would make that uh, nine hundred and thirty three. 954. So we get an extra twenty euros on top by painting it so it's definitely worth doing it i mean i do this every time i i check it every time spout and just reconfirm every time that it is definitely worth it 3430 so we've actually got 1430 that is available for us to use still not enough to be able to buy pigs this month which i'd really like to do oh but Uh, do I want to keep that hay turner? Hay turner, the, 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 the rake. Do I want to keep it or not? Do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? I am... How many times is that 2CV going to come round and smack into me? Seriously. Those things are made of cardboard anyway. Like, it's amazing that it's still driving after that kind of treatment. Um, yeah. I'm seriously tempted to sell our rake. Uh, that's just a little bit more money. That might actually be allow, uh, uh, that might actually allow us to buy pigs this month. The only problem with that is that next month, we're going to need to buy food for those chickens. They're going to have run out by that point. So maybe buying pigs is not such a good idea. Maybe I should just go and buy a bag of chicken feed right now. If we take the rake up, we can get two bags of feed. Be enough just to keep us ticking over. And then we can avoid selling the eggs until May. If I can wait till May before I sell the eggs, they do jump up quite a bit in price. That's, that's what I'm wanting to do. Just keep whizzing back through here while we're talking about this and trying to decide what we should do. It's a big decision. Uh, chickens, 1,400. I don't think... That, I think we're going to need to buy food for the chickens today. I don't think we've got any other choice. If I take this trailer, can I put the 
rake on the back of it. I know I've used rake a bit, and it is a useful tool, especially for consolidating some of those rows and making life a little bit easier for doing the baling. All right, we, we, can't, we can't in good conscience go and sell that one. It's just not going to work. I can't justify selling that. Not at the moment. Um, I'm just wondering whether I can wait another month before I... You know what? I don't think I can. It's down to 1,003. They're using up their food very quickly. But they're also producing eggs very quickly. So I'm, I'm not overly concerned about that. I just want to be able to hold off selling the eggs until May. If I can wait that long, that like the, the the money we get from the eggs is going to increase quite significantly between now and May. All right then. Real life kind of interrupted a little bit. The, the lights were flickering and uh, it's been quite breezy outside when i say breezy i mean it's been absolutely howling through at times and the wind's been whipping around so i was a little bit concerned that maybe we were the downed power line somewhere and we were gonna power cut so i thought i'd better just stop and save and now we're back right so what i want to do is actually what was i doing i was going to buy a bag of chicken feed just one only one. There we go. Wheat right there. And that's all I can afford. It's 1,250. That's going to leave us very little money left over. Yes. Okay. That leaves us 180 euros because our friend is... Excuse me. Our friend is borrowing that 2,000. So I want to go... F shift Z. Big with tank. Big bag. Put big bags right there. And I want to load that one up. Yeah. That's what we want to do. So this one single solitary bag of wheat is going to keep chickens going for just a little tiny bit longer. Not very long, though, I don't think. We may end up having to sell some eggs next month, which I didn't really want to do. But if that's what we got to do in order to be able to keep things going, then that's what we got to do. We, we, we just have to sort of work with what we can do here and um, hope for the best. Whiz you along the road over here and down there. See, it's easy to turn off down here. It's not necessarily very easy to turn off going the other way because of traffic. And also, when I was coming up through there, there was a lot of traffic at the top. It took me ages to actually get out onto the road because everything kept coming up and trying to stop right in the wrong place. Now, there's a car coming up the road there. If I try and go too far, he's going to stop in the wrong spot. And then I got that really annoying 2CV turning up. Next car behind. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to run down here like this. And then hopefully I can get in here in front of that car. There we go. Right. Job done. Excellent. And I can go whizzing up through here. And I can tip out this little bit. I've got 500 litres of barley in the grain store, so I'll just go and hook on the trailer in a minute and we'll also get that bit out. Bring that over here. So we'll drop that one in. I can go in there like that. And then we get the 500 litres of barley and we'll dump in. And that's going to take our total chicken feed up Oh, we've got 2,000 litres in there at the moment. So it'll be 2,500 litres at might. I was going to say that might be enough to see us through tomorrow as well. I don't think it will be, though. I don't think that's going to be enough. Right. Well, regardless if it's enough or not, we uh, well, I'm going to rinse this thing off because we haven't done this for a while. So um, that, that trade is starting to look a bit grubby. Uh, we'll clean this one off. Damage is on 5%. I'm not too worried about that. We clean the tractor off as well. That needs to be looking a little bit neater and tidier than it is. You know, we need to look respectable as we're herring around the countryside. It's very important that. And then we can unhitch the trailer. We'll go and get the other trailer on. We will move the 500 litres, which is really not... I mean, we could do that with a wheelbarrow. We could just about take a wheelbarrow and take that over. I mean, let's be honest, though. We've only got 400 chickens. 
Now, I've kept chickens before. Not 400, admittedly. So, um, you know, maybe I'm misjudging this slightly. But I don't think 500 litres of chicken feed is... Like, uh, I, I don't think they're going to consume it in a day. But these, this lot here, this lot seem to be like... They're hobbit chickens. Hobbits. They're, they're, they're hobbit chickens. That's what they are. We have a farm of ho special hobbit chickens. And these hobbit chickens, are they're, they're eating us out of house and home. That's what they're doing. They're, they're nothing but a nuisance. They're, they're, they're just being greedy. Eating us out of house and home completely. Right, so we're going to there. And 574 litres. It's not a lot. That's it. It's just that little tiny bit in the bottom. Like I said, a wheelbarrow load. The wheelbarrows... What is the litre capacity of a wheelbarrow? Is it 60 litres? Just trying to think now. How big is a wheelbarrow? How big is a wheelbarrow? How many litres are we looking at for a wheelbarrow? Uh, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm going to look this up on my phone. I'm, i got my phone right here. And I'm going to go there and... Oh, oh, the, the tipping was. That's, that's, you, you, you got to watch that tip out there. It must have been jolly exciting for you. Um, wheel barrow. It's a lot more exciting for me than it is for you. Ah, wheelbarrow volume liters. Well, that one says 200, 200 kilos. One, one liter. No, that's not one. No, uh, 100 liters. Typically, a wheelbarrow will hold about 100 litres for a level load. So, grain, you're not going to be piling that up very high if you're going to be moving it any kind of distance, trust me, because that will just level itself out. So, if you pile it up too much, it will level itself out and spill all over the floor. So, we're looking at about 100 litres. So, we've just gone and stuck five wheel... Five, well, almost six wheelbarrow loads of grain in for those chickens. There's only 400 in there. Those are some hungry chickens. That is, that is a lot of food that we've just gone and dumped in for them. Now, the next big question is, can I reverse this one? This is the single most difficult bit of reversing to do. And I'm rather proud of the fact that I am a lot better at this than I used to be when I started playing this game. Because this is the one thing that I've never done in real life when it comes to just general driving machinery is reversing a trailer with a turntable on it. I've, I've never never, had, never actually had to do that. I have reversed a couple of times, like two trailers strung together, but that's a little bit different because you haven't got the turn angles on them that you've got to allow for on a turntable trailer. Like It's, it's a little, little tiny bit different. Principles are the same. It's just the way it's laid out is, is a little bit different. All right. That is the end of March now. Stuck. Oh, there we go. We've got 180 euros left. Got to remember that that other 2,000, our friend is borrowing that, and he will return it. But at the moment, he can't. So that's fine. We wait until April, month number two. We need to be able to plant in May, right? We can theoretically start planting now, and we are way down below. So we are now into our overdraft. That's what we're currently using. Uh, we're, we're into our overdraft facility. Uh, the chickens are 1,324. Yes, yeah, so they would have had enough yesterday. Only just. They, but they would have had enough. Um, they definitely... They won't have enough now, so we've got to buy another pallet of chicken feed for these chickens in order for them to survive. Or you know, maybe we will have to sell a few. We've got five pallets of eggs right here. Which will end up being a bit more. How are the pigs doing? Let's go and have a look at the pigs. Minutes. What have we got in here? We've got 5,300 food, 2,805 water. The, the, I mean, the pigs are doing all right, and... There's nothing else that they need in here. We're 237 on them, so I could sell the first nine already and then buy another nine. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? If I was, if I sell them right now, because of the price difference, like we get 1,777. 
If I go here to buy nine of these, it's 2007. So we're not going to end up making a profit on these yet. 2137. And there is 1800. This is because we don't we, we don't transport them back and forth. So we've got to pay the, the transport fees each time. And it's the fees that end up costing us. So we don't make a profit on them, even selling them now after they've gone above that price because of, yeah, those reasons. Right, in which case we're just going to leave the pigs where they are. I can do nothing about that. Uh, all right, well then. 25. The chicken prices don't change. They're staying at 25. Yeah, reproduction on there. So I, if I was going to do it, I'd have to keep that one. So it's 99 chickens. And then I'd also want to... Yeah, uh, really want to do anything with them. No, I don't, I don't want to change that. I'll leave that where it is. Um, one, three, two, four on food. What are we? We're on two and a half thousand. We have to buy another bag of food today, which means that we're going to have to sell the eggs today. We've got no choice in the matter. Eggs are on 887. Oh, this is painful. All right. You know what? I'm I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm actually going to... I really didn't want to do this. And yeah, I know some of you are going to be saying, well, that's because of, you know, your, your friend. I don't care. I don't care. It was worth it. Totally. It's completely 100% worth it. I would do it again. In a second. In a heartbeat. I wouldn't I wouldn't, e I wouldn't even hesitate. I would do it again. Uh, let me go there then. And these are the older ones at 21 months. It's the oldest ones that we got. So if I drop that all the way down and then go, right, we can sell 60. So we get 1,200 euros for selling 60 of them. And the other 40, it makes another 800. So there's 2,000 that we get for selling them. And that leaves us with 399 chickens plus one rooster. Right. So we've got 300 chickens, and then we've got the eggs. So I can leave the eggs now until next month. I've got 3,700 euros on me, which means that I've got just enough money to go and buy a bag of chicken food. I can't buy two bags, I don't believe. If I can, I will. I know it's going to mean that by tomorrow we're going to be in, you know, we're going to be back to problems, but... Also, by tomorrow, we will have the ability to go and get some... Uh, we'll sell the eggs tomorrow, and so we'll be getting a lot more money for them. If you have a look at the, the price right there, that... Yeah, I'm hoping it will jump to about 1,200. If it'll get to about 1,200, then we'll be looking... All, you know, that, that'll be looking pretty good. That'll be all right. 1,200 euros for... Actually, yeah, 1,200 euros for the eggs. Um, let's just go and get the eggs. We won't, we won't. We're not, uh, they're not the eggs for the, the... That's what we'll be selling them for tomorrow. I don't want to sell them now. I want to go up there and I want to get another bag of chicken feed. Only one. Just one. I'm getting a little bit distracted here with things. Thinking straight. Right. Worrying about different things. I got things on my mind. It's just, you know, all, all of these things sort of add up. Make you think about all sorts of different stuff, and and then you get a bit muddled and confuddled and confused. It might just be because I'm getting old, but I doubt it. I'm sure there's other reasons. So I'm going to, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to drive up there. Every time I drive up here without concentrating properly, and every time just about that. Yeah, see. It's the speed that I can get across the road here and the speed that the traffic moves along. I just can't get through there quick enough. And then it doesn't help that the trailer is also causing issues. Right. I've got to do this. Look around. It's been motion sickness. Well, not really, but it gives. I know it gives some of you motion sickness. Onwards and outwards. 
we can still do this. We 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 can we can do this. Let's let's try and focus a little bit. Let's, let's keep our mind on the task in hand. Over this way, I want to get one bag. I can't get anything more than one bag of chicken food. Um, I don't currently have a front loader. This two thousand euros is um, it's been difficult this month. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It has been difficult helping our friend out like this. Um, would I do it again? Yes, I would. I absolutely would. Bye. Yes. Okay. Because I think what we, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add onto the list. Our friend loans us some money. Right. I've added that onto the list. Did I buy that bag? Let's have a look. Yes, I already bought it. Right. Okay. I've added it onto the list. Uh, what we will do is we'll say our friend loans us some money. So if that one does come up, we can take out a loan of 5000 So yes, we'll have to pay a little bit of interest on it because it's... Our friend has gotten to better... You know, he's in a better situation. He's able to help us out a bit. But we've gone to him and said, we want a long-term loan. We don't want a short-term loan. We want, you know, not, not just for a month or two, like when we helped him out. Um, what we're after from him is a long-term loan. We can't get one from the bank. Would he be uh, Would he be prepared to lend it to us? We will pay interest, right? We, we're insisting we pay interest because it's going to be a long-term thing. So we're going to pay it back. We're, we're going to pay him some interest on the loan as well. Um, but the, so that'll be an option. So if that one comes up, we lend him two grand for three months. If that comes up, we will be able to take out a 5,000 euro loan and we pay it back when we want to. So we basically got, if we have the, you know, the correct roll of the dice, that will give us a small bit of loan. It's five grand. It might be that we get, you know, a couple seasons in a row, the same thing happen. And I just realized it's April. So it's, oh no. It's the last day of spring. Tomorrow is, is... No, it's not the last day of spring. May is the last day of spring. We're, you know, I'm going in here quick before that car turns up and stops. Exactly the wrong place. Um, ignore me. It was March was the beginning. That was the first day. We've got April now as the second. May is the third day. And it's not until after that that we're able to use our two grand again. And then we've got to do another, sh uh, another roll of the dice. I'm really hoping that we don't lose animals or anything like that, because that would be a bit of a jolly nuisance, but if that's what it is, that's what it is. And there's our thousand. Let's go have a look at the chickens. Uh, there. Right. We'll just ignore the pigs for now. They are... I mean, they're coming along quite nicely. I'm hoping that we don't have to sell them early, anything like that. And now we've got chickens with 2,300, and we've got less chickens in there, which means that the food should be okay for chickens. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.